Should Donald Trump, the 45th president of the United States, go to prison? This is the question that has sparked a firestorm of debate across the nation. With a spectrum of controversy surrounding him, it's a question that demands a deeper look. Let's delve into the depths of these controversies and find out. Donald Trump's controversies didn't start with his presidency, oh no. They were sewn into the fabric of his early business career, revealing a pattern of questionable ethics and dubious practices that would follow him into the political arena. Let's take a trip down memory lane. It's the 1970s, and the Trump Management Corporation headed by Donald Trump and his father, Fred Trump, is slapped with a racial discrimination lawsuit by the Department of Justice. They were accused of violating the Fair Housing Act by discriminating against African-American applicants, a charge they eventually settled without admitting guilt. Fast forward to the late 1980s, a case that still sends shivers down the spine, the Central Park Five. Five young men of color wrongly accused of a brutal assault. Trump purchased full-page ads in four New York City newspapers advocating for the return of the death penalty stoking public sentiment against these innocent boys. Even after their exoneration, Trump refused to back down, casting a long shadow of doubt and mistrust. Then there were the allegations of tax evasion. The New York Times reported in the late 90s that Trump and his siblings set up a sham corporation and undervalued their parents' real estate holdings to avoid hundreds of millions in taxes. While Trump dismissed these allegations as fake news, they added another layer to the complex tapestry of his controversial past. All this, mind you, before he ever set foot in the Oval Office. These early controversies paint a picture of a man willing to step over lines others wouldn't dare cross, a man for whom rules seemed more like suggestions than hard boundaries. These instances of discrimination, public manipulation, and alleged tax evasion were not isolated incidents but rather glimpses into a pattern of behavior that would continue into his presidency. And these were just the beginning. Once he took office, the controversies didn't stop. The presidency of Donald Trump, the 45th president of the United States, was marked by a string of controversies that stirred the political landscape on an unprecedented scale. Let's start with the impeachment trials. Trump has the distinction of being the first president to be impeached twice by the House of Representatives. The first impeachment in late 2019 was centered on allegations that he sought help from Ukraine to boost his chances of re-election. The second impeachment in early 2021 was a result of his alleged incitement of the violent Capitol riots. Next, we delve into his handling of the COVID-19 pandemic. Critics argue that his administration's response was marked by denial, misinformation, and a lack of a national strategy. The United States, one of the wealthiest nations in the world, ended up with the highest number of COVID-19 cases and deaths. Trump's own bout with the virus further fueled controversy, with his treatment regimen and recovery timeline raising eyebrows. Then there's the elephant in the room, the allegations of election fraud. Following the presidential election in November 2020, Trump and his legal team launched a campaign to overturn the results, claiming widespread voter fraud. Despite dozens of court cases, they failed to provide any substantial evidence to support their claims. And let's not forget the numerous controversies surrounding his personal conduct, his relationship with foreign leaders, his use of social media, and his business dealings. Each of these areas has its own set of controversies that have been heavily scrutinized and debated. To say Trump's presidency was controversial would be an understatement. It was a whirlwind of disputed actions and polarizing decisions that left the nation and indeed the world deeply divided. Yet the controversies continue even after leaving office. Even after leaving the office, Trump finds himself surrounded by legal and political storms. It's a whirlwind that seems to follow him, no matter where he goes or what he does. Let's delve into some of these post-presidential controversies that have continued to cast a shadow over his legacy. The Capitol riot of January 6, 2021, for instance, is a day that will live on in infamy. It was an unprecedented attack on the very heart of American democracy. Trump's role in inciting the violence that day has been the subject of intense scrutiny and debate. While he was acquitted in the impeachment trial that followed, many believe that he bears a significant degree of responsibility for the events that unfolded. 
Then, we have the ongoing investigations into his businesses. Trump's financial dealings have been a source of controversy throughout his career, and they didn't stop when he left the White House. From allegations of tax fraud to questions about the true value of his assets, these investigations could potentially lead to serious legal repercussions. And let's not forget about the potential charges for obstruction of justice. During his presidency, Trump was accused of attempting to interfere with the investigation into Russian interference in the 2016 election. Even though he was never formally charged while in office, it's possible that these allegations could come back to haunt him. In the midst of these controversies, it's easy to lose sight of the bigger picture. But it's important to remember that these aren't just isolated incidents. They're part of a pattern of behavior that raises serious questions about Trump's respect for the law and his understanding of the responsibilities that come with holding public office. So where does this leave us? Well, it's clear that Trump's post-presidential life is far from quiet. The legal and political storms that surround him show no signs of dissipating anytime soon. And this only scratches the surface. But how does his family fit into all of this? Let's find out in the next scene. Trump's controversies aren't limited to him alone. His children have also found themselves in the spotlight. The Trump offspring, namely Donald Jr., Ivanka, and Eric, have all played significant roles in their father's businesses and political campaigns and have consequently been drawn into the fray of controversy. Let's start with Donald Jr. and Eric. After their father's ascension to the presidency in 2016, the pair assumed control of the Trump Organization. However, their leadership has been marred with allegations of fraud. In 2018, a New York Times investigation suggested that the Trump family had engaged in dubious tax schemes during the 90s, potentially inflating the value of their properties to secure loans and undercut their taxes. Then there's Ivanka Trump, who, alongside her husband Jared Kushner, served as a senior advisor to her father during his presidency. Her role in the administration was not without controversy. Critics questioned the ethics of her appointment, citing concerns about nepotism and potential conflicts of interest due to her ongoing business ventures. Moreover, all three children have been implicated in the misuse of charity funds. In 2018, the Trump Foundation agreed to dissolve under judicial supervision amidst allegations that the charity's funds were used for personal and political gain rather than for charitable purposes. The Trump children as board members were held responsible for this mismanagement. Finally, their roles in their father's presidential campaigns have also stirred controversy. Allegations of collusion with foreign entities and questionable campaign financing practices have swirled around the Trump children, further adding to their list of controversies. In the grand scheme of things, these controversies surrounding the Trump children mirror those of their father, they raise important questions about the intertwining of business, politics, and personal gain, and the potential abuses that can arise from such a mix. So with all these controversies, should Donald Trump go to prison? We've explored the numerous controversies surrounding Donald Trump, from his early days to his post-presidential life. From the real estate tycoon's multiple legal battles to the profound political controversies during his presidency, we've delved into the complex tapestry of Trump's world. In the early years, we saw allegations of discriminatory housing practices, tax evasion, and questionable business deals. As we moved into the presidential era, these controversies escalated to include potential violations of the emoluments clause, obstruction of justice, and even impeachment. Post-presidency, the storm hasn't subsided, with ongoing investigations into Trump's financial dealings and his role in the events of the Capitol on January 6, 2021. We've also touched on the involvement of Trump's children in his ventures and controversies. From Ivanka's role in the Trump Organization to Donald Jr.'s meeting at Trump Tower, their actions have been scrutinized as part of the larger narrative. These multiple controversies have led to a loud call for legal consequences. Some argue that Trump should face prison time for his alleged transgressions, while others believe that such an action would further divide an already polarized nation. The debates are ongoing, as the wheels of justice turn slowly, and the legal complexities of these issues are vast. In the end, it's not just about whether Trump goes to prison or not, it's about accountability, 
about setting a precedent that no one, not even the president, is above the law. Whether or not Trump goes to prison is a question that remains to be answered, but one thing is certain, his controversies will continue to spark debate.